Hey guys, welcome back to the game room. We've had a one week hiatus because we've been checking out Tokyo Game Show. I'd like to introduce ourselves again. My name is Lorek, Dietrich Mohan, and I'm with my usual video game guru, Jay. Now, today we're going to talk more about Tokyo Game Show. Yeah, so what's have been exciting you from Tokyo Game Show? Well, I've been checking out the videos, and I think the one thing I'm really psyched about is who wants to hunt the world? I've just read the Geek Culture uh, article that Yong has uh, dropped online mm -hmm. and I think that was a really nice coverage you basically see all the, the highlights, the monsters the, they really went all out to do full marketing on Monster Hunter World So have you been a fan of the Monster Hunter game? Yeah, I have pretty much all the PS2 Monster Hunters No 3DS Monster The 3DS, I only got the one <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go and collect it someday but PS2 first Okay, I don't really care for the games okay. but I want that sweet looking PS4 Pro Ooh, yeah, the only, nice. only brand of PS4 Pro so far and it looks really really good. Are you gonna pick it up? So I think maybe if it comes out of Japan. Next up for us was uh, I was checking out some of the games that was coming out so big props to the VR games. We were I was at the Kuala Lumpur Sony Experience. I tried out Impatient already but also wanted to see the new one Zone of the Enders another PS2 classic for me. Are you a Zone of the Enders guy? No. You don't like it? No. It was the only game that mattered because I got Metal Gear Solid 2 <laughs> <laughs> But they, they're doing a remaster now It's still the same game though It's just Chibuti. Not enough shit to get me interested in it Yeah I want to utilize my PSVR so It's not the Enders VR Impatient though, that's good I mean, super massive games yeah. Until Dawn I'm a big fan so I'll definitely give Impatient That's shot. pretty cool So, play Until Dawn It's a must Yeah, you know after the success of Resident Evil 7 So yeah. I'm very very excited to try another horror game in VR coming out this October, I think? Yeah, October. Hmm. Yeah, so it'll be really, really soon. So you, you guys should check out Impatient as well. Might be a bit scary. It was quite scary, the demo though. Moving on, we've got some local indie guys. So I think the last few weeks, we've been talking to Battle Brew Productions mm -hmm. uh, and the various team. And uh, they are actually in Japan as of today's filming. They have launched their new game, Battle Sky Brigade. Yeah. I've seen a bit of it over the last month, but Never really got to play it. So what are you categorizing? <laughs> a hybrid like tower defense? A hybrid plane. tower defense, hexa grid style. Yeah. I thought that uh, the designs that Battle Brews Facebook that they've been churning out a lot of the bunnies. The bunnies here yeah, and the fish bowl. So basically you're tapping on units. Yep. Yeah. You pump out units to go attack your opponent's base. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I got from the gist of it. Yep. I'm guessing you have limited resources, you know, your enemy is gonna have the defenses. So it's kind of like tower defense uh, mixed with RTS style elements. Mm. So we'll probably have more details on that when it comes back. Game start? Yeah, game start. You guys go. We'll yep, talk so more about game start later. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna have our launch games of the week. So the big game is NBA 2K18. <laughs> If you guys are huge NBA 2K18 yeah. fans, do check it out. I was at Tishan last week mm -hmm. and we had a demo out. Yeah, I'll be playing NBA 2K18. It's uh, much deeper, it's much nicer looking, but god damn the menus. Too many menus, guys. I saw that the whole list of tricks and passes and how do you do it, I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah, but it's still pure NBA 2K, so it's really, really good at its core as a basketball game. But the big release he's talking about is of course Marvel vs Capcom Infinite. Infinite! Yeah. We've got mixed reviews, I've seen a lot of the uh, reviews. It's a fighting game, game, so you know, it's a kind of expected. But one thing I cannot get over is that shitty collector's edition. <laughs> you know, the one that they market like the six gems. Going it looks there. so beautiful and then when it came, it's like Kinder Surprise Eggs. And you can't even remove them from the case. It's probably like half shells. Marketing... I mean, if you, uh, if you bought that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a refund, just go ahead and get it. But the game itself is pretty decent, I would yeah. say. I think That's PS4 a, yeah. owners are going to be very happy. Yeah. Have you been trying your hand at it? Uh, I played the demo mm -hmm. and also at uh, Sony Experience. But I'm actually most looking forward to for more games on my Switch. Pokemon Tournament. Pokemon Tournament DX is out this yep. week. For those of you that missed out on this Pokemon Brawler when it came out for the Wii U, now you have a chance to try it out on the Switch. So it's like Mario Kart 8, it's probably the best version there is now. So definitely try it out. Yeah, kick his ass. But I think the key thing is next month is uh, October. October, which means it's time for Game Start 2017. 
So this year there will be probably more new exciting stuff coming. We got Southeast Asia Major is coming. Yep, that's the reason why. We have all this Wind Gemmer stuff because the first ever Wind Gemmer Championship will be held at GameStar 2017. Yeah. And I was at, at Versa City last Friday to check out like the guys playing and I think Leslie kind of blew my mind with all the funky tricks on Windjammer so do check out C uh, Major, go and sign up ASAP, I think the registration is closing soon. I'm not too sure if uh, Windjammer is out on Asian PS and yet so you might have to <laughs> get a US account to try, your, try, try the game but as far as I'm concerned it's a pretty pretty fun power frisbee game. Yeah and don't forget the prize money is 6 yeah, just for playing a free speed game, so. So I think that pretty much wraps up this week's The Game Room. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube and our Facebook page. I can always check out uh, Jake on Geek Culture. Yeah, we'll be covering uh, Tokyo Game Show. One of our guys is over there right now, so check out all the news on TGS. Uh, Hopefully we have more news coming out this week. We've been going around booths and we got a new we got a look at the Singapore booth at TGS and it's much much more improved than the debacle that was at Gamescom. Yeah. Good job to the guys at TGS right now. And we're gonna be signing off. Yeah.